All right. So I think by now, most of us have heard about digitization, the number of mobile apps, and the number of devices, and data utilization changing the world. But what I'm obsessed about is the amount of data that's being created at the edge and the insights we get from that. So today I want to share two examples with you in the sporting industries that actually represent that. So the first, thanks to our friends at Splunk, I was able to experience the connected car. And the best part about this was I was able to experience it at Sonoma Raceway in California on a track day. So this is the Porsche Cayman I drove that day. And each driver placed one of these carvoyant dongles into the dashboard to collect the diagnostics from the onboard components in the car. And that was communicated in real time to the carvoyant system and passed on to the Splunk system. And once it was in the Splunk system, we were able to search upon it, analyze it, and report on it. So what you're seeing here is a custom report for my vehicle. And on this report, it's actually doing a geo lookup and a KML to do exact components on an overlay of the Sonoma race course. Now, each dot on this represents a heat map of the maximum speed for all my runs that day around the course. Now, when you look at this, you probably see something a little bit different than I do. If you can see the white dots as you're entering the turn, that's where I kind of screwed up. I was a little bit too conservative going into the turns. I was hitting 40, 60 miles an hour before I actually threw on the brakes harder and stopped and went into the turns. What's that mean? Too slow into the turns and too slow out of the turns. But let's focus a little bit on the positive here today. Uh, if we zoom in and hover over any of these spots or dots, I can actually see my maximum speed on that course from that component. But what's really cool, in my mind, is this is also a geoforce. So because it's a geoforce, I can click on it and actually see all the times of my fastest times going through that same location. So what that allowed me to do is analyze my drive day, figure out how to improve it. I know I can fix my braking next time, and I will make these times faster. In my second example, thanks to our friends at Dimension Data, we're going to be talking about a revolutionary view, uh, viewing experience that's going on the Tour de France. So even though we're in the city that created SoulCycle and the Peloton exercise phenomenons, some of you might not be tracking what's going on in the Tour de France. So real quick, it's been around since 1903. It's the third largest sporting event in the world and attracts all the best riders every year. But this is how we've been tracking the time gaps in the Tour de France for years. A motorcycle rides along and actually reports the distance between the lead group and the peloton. And someone sits on the back of that bike with a chalkboard and writes down the information and shows it to the riders and lets them know this is how it's going. Now GPS has made its way onto some of the bikes, which allows us to get an idea where the groups are, etc. But depending on the distance between the bikes and the groups, you didn't actually get an accurate portrayal. Starting next year, we will have specific analytics on each of the riders because we're going to be putting GPS devices on each of their bikes, as shown here in the picture. Now, what does this do? This is going to enable an incredible viewing experience. And let me tell you why. Because not only is it going to improve the accuracy and the you know, detail of the, of the information, it's going to tell us let the broadcasters and the viewers see what's the live speed, the location of each individual riders, the distance between the riders, and the compositions of the group. So how does it work? Each of these devices on the bikes talks to the other bikes, as well as sensors in the race cars and the team cars. That then gets relayed from the race cars up to the race helicopter. The race helicopter passes it down to the Euromedia truck at the end of the stage, which passes it to the Dimension Data truck via hardwire, and inside that truck will have a platform, an analytics platform that's doing all the analysis, all the computation, all the insights, which we pass on to the television broadcasters, the race commentators, and the digital platforms that will show the exact times, and as well as to the media and social media. So this is a quick look inside the truck, as I've been stopped. There we go. This is a quick look inside the truck. And 
as I show this to you, I would like to highlight that Venu is here at this conference from Dimension Data, and he is obsessed with this more than I am than anyone else. So I encourage you to seek him out, Venu on many, and learn more about this solution. And if sporting's not your thing, know, just know, that data at the edge is going to create insights and experience in every industry there possibly exists. Thank you very much.